everyone and welcome to our YOLO Colorado girls trip weekend where me, Jess who's back here, Laura who's inside and Bethany um, who's flying in tonight are just taking a spontaneous weekend winter girls trip in Colorado because why not? I don't know. Most people go to beaches in the winter for fun and I've never been to Colorado in the winter and we were like, let's just go. So right now we are outside uh, the Flatirons Park in Boulder and we're going to go spend some time here. Laura's dad lives here, so it's kind of convenient. We're going to go for a little hike with him in the boulder and the flat irons. Plenty of snow here. Uh, and then tomorrow, we are going to go snowshoeing in Rocky Mountain National Park, which I love Rocky Mountain. And Jess and Bethany have never been there, so I'm really, really excited to show them that because if you haven't been, it's so, so, so beautiful. You must go. And so we're just going to play outside. But it's cold, cold, cold. My toes are numb and frozen. My little southern self is not, not ready for this, so... Let's see if I can stay warm. All right, we are getting prepared for our flat irons hike here. We got a nice packed thing. I don't know where Bethany's gonna fit in here, but. <laughs> she gets shotgun, remember? We've got some cold weather feet traction here. Yeah. It's probably gonna be a little icy and cold. It's pretty freaking cold, guys. I don't know, I'm being a little bit, bit of a baby here. But, you know, getting ready. It's not it's 39. 39 degrees. Why are my toes so numb? <laughs> I, don't, I feel fine, but my toes are just numb. They're not hanging it. It's been 75 in Athens for me for like the last month. My Pennsylvania roots are just a shame. Well, They've so just withered away. Laura's dad is up there smoking us and our sea level lungs. Sea level, sissy. <laughs> sea level sissies. We're doing our fifth boat shoot, everyone. <laughs> yeah. This is what this is this is what pays the bills. It could be a worse job. Well, we just got some app dinner type thing and we're leaving <laughs> Boulder to drive and get the one, the only, Bethany <laughs> Taylor from the airport. And then we're headed back to Estes Park for the night. Um, Cause that's where we're staying for the next two nights, which is pretty rad if you ask me. So we'll catch you on the trails tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. We are on day two, and we are in the lovely Estes Park, Rocky Mountain National Park. It is windy. We got we got double burrito Bethany over here. Minus the burrito. Minus the burrito. She she cheated on herself today, but we got we got big girl hiker energy here today at the breakfast table. <laughs> that burrito is gonna fuel fuel anything. All right. We are caffeinated. Highly caffeinated. <laughs> Fed the two essentials of outdoors. So we're gonna go see if there's a parking spot <laughs> to hike because it's a little late. But Bethany I and then the cookie squad over here. I think squad. Laura Laura's and, got a cookie. Oh Laura, I thought you were eating hers. Nope. And Jess, because that's our trail snacks today. So, so free trail trips. Listen, this is why I like hiking over trail running because there's no rules. You can eat a full meal out there on the trail. <laughs> and like it's like whatever. You can bring whatever you want. You can bring a charcuterie board out there. There's fine. There's no rules. So we're gonna go try to find a trail and plot around the snow. The wind has died down, which means that I can stop being a baby back there. And we're ready to rock, so. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Luke, do not include this audio in the video. <laughs> so we are here at Lumpy Ridge. I feel like that's like Lumpy Ridge. Ridge. <laughs> Lumpy Ridge. Lumpy Ridge. <laughs> we're gonna do the gym like hike. We really had to try to find something that we could do. That was a quick day hike since we're get a little late start to the day that is hikeable still because a lot of stuff here is really snowed in. So we're gonna try to hit a bigger hike tomorrow morning before we head out, but Lumpy Ridge looks pretty cool if you ask me. And there's a little lake back there, so we're gonna do the Jim Lake Trail here in Rocky Mountain National Park. Um, for those of you who watch this content just to plan your own trips, we just searched random trails on all trails and found and read the reviews and found this but this is to the outside of the park so you don't have to go in the main gates to get there it's a little bit right outside estes so we'll see how it goes all right i am winded i can't break dance at altitude 7,000 feet of death 
So we Googled our trail, but now we're here being responsible stewards of the land, as Bethany says, making sure we've got a good lay of it. <laughs> Taking a mental picture, a physical picture, because you download the app. Everyone thinks that trails are really scary, but they literally spell it out for you here. So you go to the T and you turn right. There we go. Boom, you find the lake and then you walk back where you came from and you turn left. Look at that guy. They really even had toilets at the trailhead. The now we know what we're doing. I just put sunscreen on, so count it. High energy food. What about high energy food? What about <laughs> <laughs> I got Pop Tarts and Gummy Bears. Oh, I got Gummy Bears. I got a first day kit. That is my, that is my new self. Just, that's my, that's my trail name. High energy bitch. H-E-B. Heb. Heb. High energy bitch. Isn't that a grocery store? It is a grocery yeah. store and that makes, that's perfect. I love even better. I've never had a trail name. Pukey? No. Puke? I get Chris and Ralphie. Oh, I can't. Oh. So that's too something. No, I don't know. I don't know. I think I would be Go. That's my nickname on the trail for my whole family. Yeah, I'm just Mountain Goat. Ah, this is so amazing. So, uh, back to me. How was your first ever view of the Rockies? Hitter shot in the wild, y'all. Hitter shot in the wild. Bathy's already got the snacks. Snacks out. I'm ready to finish my cookie. My trail name, out. actually, I have something to tell you guys, is that my trail name is now Sprinkles. Thanks to Bethany, named me on trail. She's Figgy, we're trying to figure out Laura and Jess's name still, but we got our names. We're gonna enjoy a little carbohydrate-filled lunch. We're gonna probably just grab a burrito up here. And then we'll put on some traction for the way down. It really wasn't bad. We've been hiking in just regular shoes. I know you get asked about that a lot. Totally fine. Trail run um, shoes. Yeah, trail run shoes for life. Screw the boots. Um, but we'll probably put a little traction on the way down just so we can go a little faster and not slide on our butts. But butt scooting is always an option. A butt scooting is my favorite way to descend down anything snow covered. So your butt is a great vessel and it doesn't require any special footwear. So there you go. Okay, so. I am going to put on, these are Yak Tracks, which are like the Walmart version of micro spikes. Everyone else has micro spikes, but I don't own them. These would be fine for snow. And these are just a little bit of traction, so that way you just don't slip and slide. So if you're ever worried, these are pretty cheap. I think you can get these for what, like 20 bucks on Amazon, the Yak Tracks? Yeah, you can micro spikes are cheaper too, but if you're ever worried about yeah. your footwear and snow and ice, you can always just get a little bit of traction there and. We'd probably make it down fine without them, but we just, you can't really walk fast without sliding. So we're gonna put these on. Um, I get a lot of questions about these things, so learn and, learn and show the trip today. Watch and learn, watch and learn. Meanwhile, like the undocumented trips are me post-holing and sliding down my butt in remote mountains. Like today is the definition of uh, nothing epic. All right, hike is over. We are back at the car. It's actually like warm. It's like 46 degrees. We were way over prepared for colder than prepared weather today, but it was so windy um, and cold the last few days that I guess some warm moved in. Um, we are gonna go drive into Rocky Mountain National Park before our bougie dinner reservation for our fun friend dinner while we're out here tonight. And it was great. We got to just enjoy some slow, stoke filled, enjoy the view type miles, which, you know, for those of us who do high, harder, longer, faster endeavors. We kind of don't stop to smell the roses, so to speak. So it was nice to do that. And so, I mean, how often do you get to just screw around in Rocky Mountain National Park with four of your internet friends, right? Like Neanderthals. I'm not a Neanderthals. We are not complaining whatsoever <laughs> about the life that we get to live. So yes. super fun YOLO weekend. And yeah, we're just gonna continue to enjoy the views and be outside. It's sunny and beautiful. So why would we do anything else? So. Bethany. <laughs> um, 
We are here at the Glacier Gorge Trailhead in Rocky Mountain National Park. You're going to do, I think it's the Mills Lake hike. Mm -hmm. uh, shout out to Danny, our friend, for recommending this. For us, um, if you ever come to Rocky Mountain, this Glacier Gorge Trailhead is really, really popular. Even more so in the summer, um, parking spots are sparse, so you wanna like kinda get here early if you can, or you can shuttle in in the summers. Um, there's tons of trails here that go to all these different incredible views and places, easier to more moderate depending on your level. Um, I've been here before, I'm not just like reading a handbook to you guys. <laughs> she's, park, give, she's a park ranger. Giving you the park beta, I'm the park ranger, but we're gonna go do this hike. Uh, conditions seem fine for just spikes and shoes like we had yesterday, so we are excited. And yeah, here's to our last day in Rocky Mountain before we all have the world's worst earliest AM flights. You have the shittiest back home. I do, I do, I do. But this is the things I do for Stokefield weekend, so let's go. So we are all uh, it's bundled up. Listen, y'all, it is a uh, we overdressed yesterday. So today, because it was like 40 degrees in Estes this morning, we we're like, ah, we're gonna be fine. We are filled, filled with regret here. So it's windy. Laura nearly blew away at the door right now. <laughs> Bevan is ready for the day. We almost lost and had a casualty of Laura. <laughs> just, uh, just is on the struggle bus. We it's daylight it's savings coffee. also, which is a scam. Every time it's I travel during things. daylight savings. It's this extra scam. Cause I'm gonna go back to the East Coast tomorrow and have no idea what time of day it is. <laughs> what is my internal clock? We don't know. So anyway, we're gonna blow away today. So it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a fun one. Tune in. Stay stay joined for the ride. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Yeah. <laughs> like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. You get more of this chaos. Mills Lake, baby. I'm not responsible for other people. I'm hardly responsible for myself. <laughs> This pays the bills, everyone. I mean, it's a, such an ass. I need to go. I need to stop. Two roads diverged in a wooded path. I always take the wrong one. Back today. This is the right way, though, right? Bethany's back there. She keeps me in line. I have an internal Bethany voice. Then whenever I do something stupid, I just hear her go, ma'am, 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 you might want to reconsider your actions. Just think about that for three seconds. OK, well, I'll tell you now. Now that we're not in the great wind tunnel of 93, what I was calling it earlier, it's pretty delightful out here, not gonna lie. So anyway, it's beautiful. I'm gonna show you more of this beauty. And not me yap yapping. Look at this, look at this. I do love Odie Green now. We got the gang. gang look gang. at all that beauty back there. Booty. Oh, pole. <laughs> okay, I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go, I'm tripping. See you later. This is the christening of, of Laura's trail name. We W. <laughs> Rocket. Hey! Trail name. What's up? Not, you would be snot rocking on the days you're snotty, and I could be tinkle sprinkle on the days that I pee a lot. Tinkle sprinkle. Yeah. Yeah. You could be yeah, snotty yeah. hottie. Snotty. <laughs> I'm fine with cheeks. Peaks and cheeks! Peaks and cheeks would be my Instagram name. That's if I start showing off my butt. You guys will never see the cheeks. They are top secret. That is top secret. Private personal information. <laughs> you want to get these two right here. This is anarchy. Let me give you some unsolicited fitness advice while I'm on this mountain dying. The thing about getting fitter is things don't stop being hard. You just go faster but it all hurts the same. So what I'm saying is don't waste your time getting fit. Just don't waste your time, it's gonna hurt. So we've made it to Mills Lake. Much more of a lake than yesterday. Oh man, literally so beautiful. I wish you were here. Beautiful day, cold day, snowy day, gorgeous day. Zero regrets, full stoke. What a way to end this freaking trip. How do you guys feel? So freaking stoked, but ready to finish my cookie. I have to finish. We're ready to be done. Good. So I hope. We're ready for some food. We're gonna go get some food. We're gonna go to our hotel and we're gonna get ready to fly out bright and early tomorrow. So 
Thanks for following us along. I hope you got motivated to chase your own adventures. Let me know if you head to Rocky Mountain National Park, you plan a trip. Let me know in the comments where you're headed to go this year. And don't forget to like, subscribe, all of the good stuff if you enjoy this and you want more of it because there's only more to come. So we'll catch you guys on the next trip. And done. <laughs>